delighted to be in Nigeria. This is my first time in Ibadan. My first time. Dr. Abiara? Baba Abiara. Sister Abiara? Mama Abiara. To all the ministerial staff. Hello. To all the special guests and dignitaries here today. To the great choir. To all of you in this great congregation. And to those who are outside. Something good is going to happen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. Are you interpreting in the Yorba language? Yes, Yoruba language. You are? Yeah. Today I speak Yorba. Through her. I don't speak it, but since she does. Since you interpret me in Yorba today, then it's just as if I speak Yorba. So I'm preaching in Yorba today. When I arrived at the airport, I greeted my wife by telephone. She is back home in the United States with our daughters. I said to her, I have arrived safely in Nigeria. And she and I have been talking about our first trip to Nigeria. Just, just, just a few years after we were married, we came, we came to Nigeria at a time of deep loss in our own family. My wife had given birth to a beautiful little boy. And we named him, we named him after me and my father. We named him Richard Oral. That was in 1984. But within 36 hours, he developed breathing problems. And he died in my arms in the hospital. Our hearts were broken. And we put his body in the ground. And we prayed. And our English seemed to bounce off the ceiling and hit us in the face. And Satan said, you're in the healing ministry and you can't even get your own little boy healed. Our hearts were broken. And we didn't know what to say or do. And, and we cried until there were no more tears. When out of our belly began to flow rivers of living water. And we began to pray in the Holy Spirit. And God, began to, and God began to give healing to our hearts. Our schedule was that I was to come to Nigeria for my first crusade in Nigeria just a few weeks after his birth. My wife had planned to stay home because of a new baby. But I was coming to Benin City and to Jos and to Lagos for my first crusades in Nigeria. I, I said to my wife, I'm not going, I'm canceling. 
She looked at me as only a wife can look at a husband. She, she said, you're not canceling anything, you're going to Nigeria. And she said, I'm coming with you. And the two of us came to Nigeria. And we preached in Benin City and in Lagos and in Jos. One night in Jos, there was a young man who had never walked. And I began to pray the prayer of faith from the platform. He was carried each day to the post office where he begged for money. But that night as I gave the prayer of faith, young Abdul repented of his sins and received Christ as his Savior. Then I began to pray for healing. When this young man came walking up out of the crowd onto the platform, I didn't know who he was. I just saw a young man walking on the platform. He seemed perfectly normal. But the crowd began to jump and cheer and praise God. And this young man, he began to run across the platform. And, and, and the more he ran, the more the people cheered and praised God. And I said to my interpreter, who is this young man? And they told me the story of young Abdul. 21 years of age. Never taken a step in his life. Now walking by the power of God. The newspapers were there. And they interviewed him. And they interviewed the family. And the next morning, his story was on the front page of the Josh newspaper. And that next night, there were a hundred thousand people to hear the word of God. And 25,000 committed their lives to Jesus Christ. And as my wife and I continued that trip, God healed our hearts. Before we left home, she said, don't ask me to get pregnant again. But after our trip to Nigeria, she said, let's try one more time. And that produced our oldest daughter, Jordan, who is a student at Oral Roberts University. And then came Olivia. And she's now 18 and uh, finishing high school this year. And then came Chloe, who is now 15. And I have three beautiful daughters. And they look like her, they look like their mother. My wife, my wife is the most beautiful woman in America. Now, I don't know about Nigeria, but she's the best looking woman in America. And she asked me this morning to say hello and God bless you here in Ibadan. <laughs>